Welcome, everybody. We're glad that you joined us again for another edition of our Life Leaders podcast. We're so glad that you joined us today. Hey, we just finished an incredible meeting in Raleigh, North Carolina. And while we were there, uh, Darren Collins and Don Wales rolled out a brand new thing that has become available to us for kingdom advancement through investing. And it's called Crest Fund. And at the end of that, there was a lot of questions that people had. And we thought, man, we just need to do a podcast to introduce Crest Fund to you and to kind of talk through what it is, why we're doing it, and how you can get involved. So, Darren, I just wanted to ask you first, uh, what's the why behind Crest Fund? Why are we doing this? Well, reality sits in. We, we've been doing this for years, um, helping people invest and, and helping them to learn how to invest. But the, the actuality, John, becomes because when, you, when someone is an investor, they, it changes who they are. So as a life leader, our, our goal and our model is to enhance individuals enhance communities as we build the kingdom together. So uh, we have learned over the years, whether it's a, a, a 17 year old or a 97 year old, when someone begins to invest, when they actually take their hard earned cash and give it into another depository, whatever that may be, and leave it and go somewhere else and then come back to see the growth in that, that it does something to their minds. They, they change. We, we, uh, we have been able to see the change in the mindset from a quote unquote employee or a quote unquote poverty stricken person or family to now, oh, okay, well, I actually can be something other than what I was before. So it's just a way for us to enhance individuals. And as we, we, we all know this as kingdom leaders, as you enhance individuals, you begin to build communities, you begin to build bigger, stronger families. You, if, you, if you build stronger families, you build stronger churches, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So Crest Fund is the rollout of, good Lord, 20, 20 plus years of hard, hard work and uh, laborious mental power that we have uh, extracted. And it's given us an opportunity now uh, we've always had people that invest, but the reality is if you want to be in our game, in most of the high level investment game, you have to be a high level person. You have to be an accredit, what we call an accredited investor. Uh, and that that's a million dollars. You got to have a million dollars in net worth, or you got to make 250, $300,000 a year. Well, that eliminates 98% of our people. So we created Crest Fund where we could open this up open it up to high level investments and to all the way down into a $5,000 investment so that everybody, everybody can get started because our goal in the end is to expand the kingdom and to enhance individuals and communities. So we can see, we can just go about and do good. Like we talked about in the meeting. That's powerful. Um, so Don, Talk a little bit to us about the power of investing and what that does to an individual and share some stories from your world. You've been in the investment world for a long time, so share some of those stories. Well, thank you, John. Um, it, it's so good to be here. As Darren said, this has been a long journey for us. Um, we have been doing this for many years, um, and we're excited to have a fund that is available that helps the smaller investor, as well as the larger investor. What we do oftentimes, uh, Crest Fund is, is as much about educating people, helping them understand what, what investing is, as much as having a place to invest. And as, as Darren mentioned, you know, we, we say a poverty-stricken mindset, that sounds harsh many times, uh, but through my own journey in life, I've found out that, you know, poverty is, is – is really not it's it's not the state of of what you have or you don't have it's what you're afraid to let go of um poverty wow. is indiscriminate of your bank account i had become very very successful i had a, a great amount of money in the bank but realized I still carried a poverty mindset, which was I was afraid to let go of. So when we think about growing our wealth, we've got to let go of certain things. We've got to be able to release them to grow. And 
uh, through our journey, we've, we've dealt with so many different people. Um, and many times the concern for people, which is very valid, wh- where would I invest? Where's a good place to invest? Um, is, is there a safe place or a, a safer place maybe? Because there's always risk involved. I, I had a conversation with an individual this morning uh, that they were looking at a risk-free, no risk, uh, high return investment. And they said, what should I do? And I said, run very, very fast, run away <laughs> quickly. Um, that's a Ponzi scheme. There's no such thing as not having risk. Can we take some of that out? Yes. And that's what we're trying to do here. We've, uh, one of the examples I think of, uh, through our journey, that's just been very rewarding to Darren and I was a widow whose husband passed away. Uh, she was left a significant amount of money. Uh, in her case, she had no idea. She had all of these different, uh, insurance and mutual funds, different places coming to her, promising her, uh, different things things. What she needed was a stable income without the volatility. And that's part of what we're able to provide. And so it was very rewarding to sit down with her and help her disperse uh, her her different investment and find a place to create a secure income for people. Okay. That's, that's powerful. So now you've got my interest peak because you talked about, Don, uh, stable income. Darren, you talked about the fact um, that you've made this platform available to what would normally only be available to sophisticated investors. So now my curiosity is up and I'm asked, I want to ask this question maybe to you, Don, like, what is it that I'm investing in? So if I, you know, I want to know where my money's going, what, what, what's happening with this. So that's a question that everyone's going to have. What is this? What, what am I investing in? If I put money in this fund? Yeah. And sure. That's a great question. In fact, we tell people you need to ask that question. You need to understand what you're investing in. Uh, It's important. And that's why education is so important to us in this journey. We want you to understand what you're investing in. doesn't mean that you'll understand every single detail. We invest in the market all the time and we we don't understand all of it, but we should know at least a little of the process. So I'm going to lob to Darren because Darren's really uh, the guy that's investing our dollars behind this. He's the real estate. He's the grabbing a hold of these, but, and, and as he'll explain, we're, we're talking about hard assets. We want to invest in companies as we build this. There's so many wonderful undervalued companies out there. Uh, many people don't realize that's, that's how um, Warren Buffett made his money. He found undervalued companies that he knew were good companies, but they needed a little infusion of capital. They did some due diligence, invested in that. And then some of these companies just turned around significantly. And so we're, we're investing in hard assets and real estate in a variety. And then we've got some undervalued companies, some opportunities. There's some incredible entrepreneurs out there that are just waiting for somebody to believe in them. Uh, and once we do due diligence and we know that that's a great idea, that the, the, all the dynamics and the, the financials are in place, those are some of the things we want to invest in. But Darren can kind of jump into that. And so I think I'm going to default to you, Darren, to kind of explain a little bit more of the inner workings of how that works. Yeah. And Don nailed it. I mean, the reality is what we're investing in is, is real assets. At the end of every day, an asset has to be backed by a person, right? So we, we're, we're launching and buying companies. We, we have we have undervalued companies that we, we partner with and we help. We, we're buying into those. But the reality is every company, like if we bought a ABC heat and air conditioning company, whatever it is, I, just examples here, um, that, that, that's an add-on. So what we're, what we're really doing at, at the course of all of this, a hard asset is something you can go put your hands on. It's a bar of gold. It's a, it's a silver dollar. It's something you can see as opposed to uh, whatever, right? A Walmart stock or whatever that is. Not that that's bad because it's phenomenal, but what, a hard asset is something you can see. So our basis is always that hard asset, something that we can insure. If it burns down, we got it paid for. Something that we can put our hands on. Not just that, John, something that we can actually add value to. So our my whole life, realistically speaking, my whole life has been looking for, because I'm, you know, I, I wouldn't say I'm cheap, but I do look for a bargain. So I, I'm always looking for something that's undervalued, whether it's a pair of glasses, a pair of shoes, a jacket, a house, a, an apartment complex, a track of land, whatever the case may be, 
Our job as kingdom ambassadors is number one, to add value, to go about doing good. Mm. And that's what this is in the investment strategy. So when it all boils down, this is real simple, right? We could take forever and, and, and create smoke and mirrors, but we're just buying something that's undervalued, whether it's a business or a house or an apartment, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. adding value to it, raising the, 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 the reset value of the, of the piece, whether it's a, pro a property or a, or a company. And then we, we have those assets in our mix. If it's a house, we buy a house less than what it should be valued at. We fix it, which is what we do really well. We fix it and make it better. And then we either rent it, sell it for a profit, however that looks. But at the end of this, I don't care if it's a billion dollar company, we are, we are looking like Warren Buffett for something that is probably worth a hundred bucks, wow. but we can buy it for 60 or 70. That's what we're looking for. And then we become the kingdom ambassadors to add value to it. That's, that's phenomenal. So uh, that lets me know where money, where my money's going to go. My, my next question becomes once you have my money and it's invested in these, these different uh, assets, how do I make money? How, how does that come back to me? Good question. So the reality is we set it up a little different, right? Um, we set this up to where you as quote unquote, the investor makes money first. So we don't make wow. money until after you've made money. So our whole system is set up to be um, investor friendly, if you will, right? So we're going to put this in play where if, if we have an internal rate of return of 10, 12%, our investors are going to get the first five and then we're going to split the rest 50, 50. Um, so we wow. set it up that way. So when we go out and that's, that's, there's two things involved in that. Number one is that we wanted it to be client based. We, we want our stuff to our investors that they know, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in the dog fight with you, no matter what, I'm not just going to, take your money and make a bunch of fees off from you and then, and then let it do what it does and roll the dice. No, we're in this thing. I need you to make money because we have to make money, right? We have to keep the, the, the balls rolling. So that's how we set it up. So as an investor, you're going to make the first piece and then we're going to be partners after that at 50, 50, and we're going to go, we're going to go for gusto. So I, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, this has been great, and I know that people are going to want more information than this, but um, we'll let them know how to get that. So let's wrap it back up with just come, tell me why again, Darren. Like, what what's the vision of Crest Fund? Why did why are we launching this thing? Why is it part of Life Leaders Coalition? What's it all about? At the end of the day, we are about enhancing individuals and enhancing communities through successful investing. Um, we, have, we have found out over the years that if you help people to grow in any facet of their life, they become better and stronger people on the backside. That's really our vision. Wow. Um, and we're, we are, so as a whole, John, we are about building a community and this community will function together, one hand touching another hand, building a, a family, a tribe, however you want to dictate that. And then that affects the communities by which we go back and live in. So that's the real vision of Crest Fund and Life Leaders Coalition as a whole. That's what we are. Incredible. So if I, after hearing this, if I want to get involved or figure, maybe get some more information, what's my next step? How do I take action on what I've heard today? Again, John, that is a great question. We hope that people are asking the same question as they're listening to this, because uh, this is, this is, as I hope they hear today, our hearts in this. This is a, a fund, a journey, an education to help people elevate their life. Um, we believe that investing breaks poverty. It changes mindsets. Um, it, it helps, as we were talking about, to, to change from just this, uh, I, I, I want to invest, but I don't know what I'm doing to, I, I understand that I'm impacting my life to help others. So I hope they're asking that question at the end of this. And the best place to go is crestfund.com. That's C-R-E-S-F-U-N-D.com. Um, from there, they'll be able to fill out a little bit of information. Um, there's no one investment of any kind that fits all investors. So we, we obviously want to do due diligence. We want to know where they're at. Uh, we help people whether they can invest with us or not. We've been doing that for years. Uh, this is more than just trying to 
gather people's money. We want to help them invest. We believe in what we're doing, but we help them regardless. So crestfund.com, fill out some information. If they want to spend some time on the back end with with me or uh, somebody else that can help them, we'll direct them in their investments. We'll tell them more about Crest Fund. That's something that I was was going to ask real quickly. So uh, if I go to crestfund.com, and fill out that information and part of part of the thing that I want to do. Maybe I, now I need somebody to look at what I've got. Like, I'm not sure that I'm even in the right places or my portfolio is where it should be. Can I, can I have a meeting with one of you guys or how do you guys do that? Absolutely. That's what we're here for. And our goal is to grow this and put more competent people. Uh, Both of us have a very significant background. Mine's a little different than Darren's. I'm more in the financial planning process. Um, But by way of giving a little confidence, uh, I've directed billions of dollars uh, through my journey. So uh, it's, it's very easy for me to sit down and spend a few minutes with somebody and help direct them. It's not, again, just about gathering assets. Uh, We believe we can help people. If, they're, if, if it's a fit, but it's also about helping them direct their assets to the best place, the safest place with the best return. So yes, the answer to that is uh, hopefully that they, they'll do that and we'll be glad to sit down with them and spend a little time and help them become better at investing. And thank you guys so much. This has been a phenomenal conversation and introduction. I have a feeling we're going to talk a few more times about this. Uh, because we definitely want to build kingdom communities. And uh, so again, if you want to take that next step and uh, find out more information, go to crestfund.com, C-R-E-S-F-U-N-D.com and fill out the information there and uh, you'll get what you are looking for. And if you want a consultation, you can have that as well. Hey, everyone, thanks so much for tuning in to our Life Leaders Coalition podcast. We hope you're having a great day. And we will see you soon.